Here we go to Mr. Naysayer. This is a 6.2 liter Hellcat engine, stock connector for my cam. I'm not using these map sensors because I'm using this map sensor into the Hellcat lid. I'm using a full return fuel system. These are my factory 6.1 harnesses from my engine. The only thing I did is I added extenders to my coils so they'll run around the head and go into the ignition coils the way that they're supposed to. I'm still using the stock 6-1 harness as I said. I extended my intake sensor, I adapted my throttle body uh, control so where I'm actually using a Hellcat connector. Uh, same thing on this side, extenders for my coils, aftermarket fuel rails, stock Hellcat injectors, same 6-1 harness. Same 6-1 harness, that's my PCM from my 6-1 car using the factory NGC3 connectors on the NGC PCM from my 6.1 liter Hemi. I had to upgrade my alternator because it doesn't fit. I had to space out my power steering pump just because of some clearance issues that you probably can't see. I had to change my AC pump, use the Hellcat Reservoir Hellcat Reservoir lines. This is for my auxiliary pump for the supercharger. I did the oil cooler. My charge air cooler for the cooling system is behind here. But yes, this is a 6.1 liter original factory equipped car, a Magnum SRT8, <clears throat> that I am now running a Hellcat engine in with the NAG1 transmission. Also to answer your throttle question, I'm running a controller from Smooth Boost that wires into my pedal that will allow me to control boost and uh, it works right off of the APP sensor in the car from the factory harness. Again, factory fans, factory radiator, factory wiring, factory ABS modules, factory everything, front control module, everything. Yes, it does run. I will show you. It also has all of the stock gauges. Sorry, my car's a little dirty. But these are all my factory gauges. All my gauges work. It is a real SRT8. No check engine lights. Fuel level sensor is good. Airbag lights on, whatever. 